think one of the worst examples of a reactive program that I've seen was where we spent the entire day fighting account takeovers, right? So Phil, so so a reactive program, right? It 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 really feels like you're just fighting fires, just one fire after another. You know, that's actually pretty common in a lot of organizations. It's pretty common across the industry where, you know, you're basically just constantly fighting fires. I think one of the worst examples of a reactive program that I've seen was where we spent the entire day fighting account takeovers, right? We would go in and um, use some SQL, um, some SQL uh, queries, and then we would we would look for um, evidence that a user has you know had their account taken over very recently. However, as you know, account takeovers are very complicated. They're complicated because one, the problem is on the end user side. So the users are reusing passwords across all kinds of different websites. So attackers can actually abuse that to see which um, accounts are actually being, uh, which accounts are actually in use. And then they can attack um, all of the different, you know, accounts and attempt, you know, um, a password, you know, login attempt, password spring and stuff like that. So these people are reusing passwords and we would spend all day just finding the account takeovers, which were happening every day.